Welcome back. We got a great opportunity to teach you how to make some delicious, yes. delicious meals. We got Chef Steve here with us today. First of all, what do we have? <laughs> uh, so today we're going to demo a little um, apple strudel. This is going to be a dessert we have coming up this Friday at our Lunch with Chef series. So um, we're at the Chesapeake Conference Center, open every Friday from 11.30 to 1.30. Um, it's open to the public. No reservations are needed. You can just come on up and come on in, um, enjoy some tasty food. Um, we're always kind of trying to support different local charities and nonprofits. And then we have rotating menus every week to keep it you know, fresh and exciting. So if you, as you give us a taste of kind of how you show people those things, right, a taste, can you tell us the chef, uh, cook with the chef series, exactly how does that go? Yeah, so um, every week we just kind of pick a different theme. This week we're celebrating uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein mm. Day, so we have a Swiss theme menu going with it here. Um, for our apple strudel dessert, it's great. This is something um, everyone can make at home themselves. Uh, it's just puff pastry bought from the store. Uh, we made some apple filling. You could buy it pre-done or you can make it yourself if you want. Um, on that pastry, we just kind of score the outside, so you have a little third on each side. Throw your filling right in the middle. Uh, you don't want to load up too much. And then we're just going to go across each way and kind of braid um, right over the center, as long as each one overlaps. And you can make this big and fat if you're feeling hungry, or if maybe it's a little more dainty, going for a wine dinner, something like that, make it a little bit more petite. The way I'm feeling right now, big and fat. Yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But super, super simple, and then you can do whatever you want with this, too. You want to add nuts to it, raisins. You want to do it with a different filling. You can do that as well. And you just, that's it. We're just looping things over back and forth. When we get to the end, kind of tuck all that in right underneath. Sprinkle a boatload of cinnamon sugar right on top of it. That's what I'm talking about. Oven, 425 degrees, 25, 35 minutes. And then voila. This is what comes out. It's the showstopper. You'll have company always trying to come over. Dinner's at your house now. What are some of the other things that you have been able to kind of teach people how to cook? Um, so we love teaching people how to make like soups, stews, stocks, um, great easy salads. We just did one the other week, uh, marinated kale and black eyed peas. Um, our biggest thing is just trying to connect with the community um, and get information out there with our local nonprofits like Buffalo Family Friends um, and just give back in whatever way we can. What do people typically say? I mean, I know for me, I do. I am not the best in the kitchen. I'll be honest with that. But even for someone like me, they can come in here and really kind of take some things away. It's the biggest thing in the kitchen is just go in there and have fun. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you're cooking for yourself. Food brings everyone together. Um, go in, try something new. If it doesn't work out, you're still going to have a pretty decent meal at the end of it. All right, one more time where people can go to kind of participate and learn how to make something like this. Yes, yeah, so you can come to our Lunch with Chef series um, every Friday at the Chesapeake Conference Center. Um, that's open to the public, no reservation needed from 11.30 to 1.30. Um, check us out on our website. Uh, you feel free to make a call in as well. All right, one last thing as we give it on over to Hunter. Anything you would recommend when it's hot outside? What was a light meal? <sighs> I always like a good uh, grilled chicken breast, nice light garden salad. Call it a day. All right. How, what do you think about that, Hunter? I think it looks fantastic.